What are we learning today about job openings across the country? Yeah, Dave, as you mentioned, we got data this morning from the Bureau of Labor Statistics detailing all of the uh, job market turnover that we see. This is different than the monthly employment report that you tend to see. But what we really want to look at is how many job postings are employers trying to fill? And if you take a look at the chart of what job openings look like, you can see that actually it didn't really tick down all that much between March and April, which was the latest data that we got as of this morning. 11.4 million job openings, extremely elevated by historic historical levels, businesses having a difficult time staffing up. We saw that the quits rate also remained elevated at 4.4 million. Uh, we did, however, see the layoffs rate decline to point. 8%, so not that many people getting laid off of their job, at least in the month of April. That is, by the way, a series low, at least from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, since they began collecting this report. So all in all, it shows that even with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, they haven't necessarily slowed the demand for hiring. Still very difficult for employers to find workers right now, guys. All right, thanks so much, Brian and Jared. You're taking a look at the markets. It's the first trading day of June. Some fear, though, still in the markets as there's worry over the economic growth. Yes, there is, Sean. And let's take a look at the charts here. We are off the low, so you're seeing a lot of red, but let's take a look at the NASDAQ, for instance. You can see over the last five days, still holding on to 7% worth of gains. And let's uh, let's talk about the bond market since we have oh, Brian Chung here. We love bonds here. I know. This is a 10-year T-note yield. It is up another nine basis points today, was up about 10 basis points yesterday. That's a pretty big move. That's 20 basis points in two days, heading back up to 3%. And just really important to note that actually this is still lower than what we saw the highs in terms of the 10-year note. It was actually uh, in the beginning of May as high as I believe 314 basis Something points. Like so that. it seems like perhaps as the Fed has messaged that it's going to stay course on that 50 basis points moves for the next two meetings, that perhaps it's some, taking some steam out of the long bond. Yeah, and let's take a look because we do see a little bit of the growth trade working today, specifically in the software sector. We'll get to that in a minute. You can see energy in the green. That's up 1.8%. Thank you for that, Brian. I got you on the assist. You, you got it. And tech, <laughs> just about trading around the unch, as they call it here. I promise we're going to get to some software names, so we have to do that. That is on the back of Salesforce earnings. And you can see Salesforce should be dark green. There we go up 10.8%. Let's take a check of the year to date. And you can see down 30%, a lot of software names getting hit hard. Just want to check in on the meme space because we got GameStop earnings after the bell. Going to be bringing those to you live. And it's been a rocky year. Another rocky year so far for GameStop. Nothing new, guys. 